Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the Ombudsman of Artsakh, Azerbaijan deliberately hides the number of Armenian prisoners of war and captured civilians. The president of Lithuania honored the memory of victims of genocide of Armenians. We see that Armenian authorities are putting pressure on internal radical forces of the country, Chavushoglu. Turkey demands receipts are in exchange for approval of Sweden's membership in NATO. A benefactor is needed to save the historical structure of the Armenian architect, Sinan. The Alevi minority supports Austria's decision. On May 28, the Community Potential Festival will be held. Exclusive fragments of the poem of the same name by Charens was presented at a show in memory of Komitas. At the moment, the number of Armenian prisoners of war and captured civilians in Azerbaijan, according to the data approved by Azerbaijan, is 38. Artsakh Ombudsman Geram Stepanyan stated this in a National Assembly of Artsakh. However, the Ombudsman of Artsakh, the Ombudsman of Armenia and human rights organizations operating in Armenia have concrete facts with which we can approve the fact that another 18 people are in captivity. Unfortunately, this is still not confirmed by Azerbaijan in any way, which gives us reason to have a reasonable suspicion that Azerbaijan is deliberately hiding the real number of prisoners of war and captured civilians, he said. According to Geram Stepanyan, there are no citizens of Artsakh among these 38 people. 35 Five of them are military, three are civilians who were captured after the announcement of November 9th. However, 19 civilians are still missing. There are people among them in whose captivity we can also prove with facts. President of Republic of Lithuania, Gitanas Neuseda, who arrived in Armenia on an official visit, accompanied by Yerevan Mayor Racha Sarkisyan, visited the Titernaka Bert Memorial Complex, laid a race at a monument of victims of the genocide of Armenians, and laid flowers at an internal flame. The Lithuanian president also visited the Genocide of Armenians Museum, got acquainted with the exposition, and made an entry in a book of honored guests, then planted a tree in the memorial complex. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu touched upon the topic of Armenia in an interview with Azerbaijan journalist in the United States. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, referring to the conclusion of a peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan, noted that Armenia should respond to the goodwill of Azerbaijan. Turkey has always supported these initiatives. Now we see that Armenian authorities are under pressure from radical forces and the diaspora inside the country, Çavuşoğlu said. He stressed that Turkey has told U.S. Secretary of State Blinken and other leaders to support the initiative so that Armenia would quickly sign a peace agreement with Azerbaijan. The Swedish newspaper Expressen talked with writer of Turkish exile Rajib Sarakolu, referring to the statement of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan that they would support Sweden's membership in NATO if Sweden extracted Rajib Sarakolu to Turkey. Commenting on this situation, Sarakolu noted that Sweden is a country committed to principles and we will take such a step and we will not allow Erdogan to score political points due to this fact. Writer Rajib Zarakolu found refugee in Sweden in 2012. He is a well-known publisher and writer who said that he fought for justice all his life and was therefore imprisoned. He was accused of supporting a terrorist organization. Zarakolu has published a number of books on the genocide of Armenians. In 2011, the National Library of Armenia was awarded the Hakob Megabart Medal as a person engaged in a large publishing activity, which also presents dozens of books of the National Library. The bus house built by the famous Armenian architect Sinan on the historical peninsula Kastanabol has been repeatedly put for sale in the past, but so far there have been no buyers. The bus condition built by order of mother of Sultan Murad III and Nur Banu Sultan in 1582 by a master architect is a worry for lovers of history and culture. This beautiful structure has been recently been used as a workshop and warehouse, as well as a store. It should be recalled that Armenian great architect Sinan Aga, as his contemporaries called him, was the largest architect of the period of Ottoman architecture, who was compared to Michelangelo. As we recently reported, Austria has officially recognized the Alevi religion as an independent phase. Austria has recognized that Alevism has nothing to do with any religion. What do the citizens of Alevi think about this achievement taken as a result of their 13-year struggle? The responses of the citizens took part in a 16th conference of the Pir Sultan Abdul Culture Union were something like this. 
This decision was a very important development of the Alevi community. It should have been done in our country, not in Europe. Democracy is a serious process. We believe that we will succeed too, because the struggle for democracy is growing in our country. In Turkey, Alevis Mazan Union has been forming for 40 years. However, for future it is necessary to create an economic and academic infrastructure. Alevis has existed in this land for about 1,500 years, but we have become a society that has always obeyed the policy of assimilation. Despite the achievements of Alevis continuing in Europe, we are still ignored in Turkey. Even our victories in legal sphere are not processed yet. Alevism is a faith and past that has nothing to do with another religion. In our faith, our people are equal. We hope that in our country they will follow the example of Estra too. On May 28th, in a Tapi Fortress of Urtzador settlement of Vedic community, a festival of the Community Potential Festival will be held. It aims to preserve the beautiful Armenian rites and traditions even more vividly, especially among young people. The organizers of the festival, having learned about the presentation of the guidebook, Khosrov Reserve, created by the project of the monument specialist, Samuel Karapetyan, which was provided on the same day and place, invited us to research an Armenian architecture foundation to join them and organize a presentation within the framework of the festival. Therefore, we inform you that the festival will begin at 3 a.m. and the presentation at 19.13. At 8, a concert by the Nemra group is scheduled. A temporary exhibition dedication to Komitas dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the birth of Yerushe Charent has opened at a Komitas Museum Institute. The exhibition presented fragments of Charent's work in memory of Komitas, Requiem Aeternam, from the manuscript of the poem donated to the Komitas Museum Institute. Gevor Grigorian's painting, Charent and Komitas, was also shown. Reporting information about the manuscripts, the poet's granddaughter, Gohar Charent, said that Charent has never made at Komitas and for the first time saw Komitas' ashes arrive in Armenia a few months after his death. The manuscript, along with many other works of Charent, was kept underground by the honored artist of the Armenian SSR, a close friend of Charent, Regina Ghazarian. The works have been remained underground for 17 years. They were withdrawn after the death of Communist Party leader Joseph Stalin. The part was destroyed and it was not possible to restore it. However, in memory of Komitas Requen, Ayanternam poem was in a pretty good condition. Now musical part, Armenian song, Nemra, Zim Horodik Yar. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.